In Java, there are the access modifiers like default, public, private, and protected. Right now, uh, we are not writing any access modifier. So default is the access modifier that is being applicable to all the data members, member functions, and even though classes. And as I told you, it is accessible only within the package or I can say within the folder. But if I want to access within the class, as I told you, I don't want to access student ID, name and age from outside the class definition. I can make it private. So what I need to do is, let me just tell you, here I need to make these three data members as private. You can see that the moment I make these three data members as private so they can be accessed within the class only when we go outside the class or another outer classes I cannot access them because it is saying that the field student class that has a student ID is not visible because of it's a private data member there is a quick fix also if you will change the visibility of student ID to the package package means default by default, it will remove the private, but I don't want that. So that's what it helps me to protect the data to be accessed from outside the class definition. The another one that we have is public. Let me tell you that. As I told you, default access modifier helps me to access the members within the folder or within the package, but public is beyond the accessibility. It, is, it has a widest scope and is accessible everywhere, within the class, outside the class, from another classes, from main method, within the same package or a folder anywhere, from outside the packages or a folder anywhere, wherever you want. Let me help you out with the help of the example. For example, here I'm going to create a folder, naming this folder as models. Under this models, I am creating a user dot Java. I don't want, uh, I do just want two members in this name of the user and age of the user. If I try to make this private and private, I just need to go to my classes and objects or encapsulation example for uh, for an instance i would like to instantiate my user class you can see that it has imported a models package or a folder under that we have a user class but the moment if i try to access user dot you can see that it's not accessible with the name or the age that I have written there. User dot age. Even though right now the members are private, that's what they are not accessible. Even though if you will make it without private, it's of package level. And right now I'm outside the package, even though I cannot access. But if you will make it public, you can access these members from outside of this folder or a package that is inside the encapsulation and abstraction example one more thing i wanted to tell you even though if you will make this not make this class public you cannot instantiate this class so if you have sub packages sub folders another folders another libraries that you have written return in java you have to make them accessible with the help of this public right now i'm keeping this public and I just wanted to uh, make them at a folder level, package level, or I can also make them as a private. I'll tell you what we need to do with this later. So that is how the private members are accessible within the class. Default or package level is accessible within the folder anywhere like this student or public is accessible from outside the scope, which is the package also. We do have one more uh, type that is protected. Protected member is accessible only within and outside the package through the inheritance. 
it means that if we have parent class and base class and we want my base class to access the members of parent class then i can make them accessible with the help of protected that i will tell you when i'll teach you the inheritance but one more component that we can just summarize it up here that is abstraction that we have already gone through with the help of making the things public but just try to understand as i told you in my previous discussion in object oriented programming there are six components or classes objects encapsulation abstraction inheritance and polymorphism as i told you encapsulation helps in hiding the data abstraction hides the implementation details and showing only functionality to the user so when we are saying that we are using private or we are protecting the data to be accessible from outside the class definition or from the restricted places that is encapsulating when we are making it default or public or protected to make them accessible from the specific places that's called the functionality to be accessed from the other locations that is known as the abstraction that shows only necessary details to the user and hides the internal details for example you go and purchase a car you go to buy a car when you go to purchase a car you will ask for the basic features and functionalities but you will not ask what fabric they have used in their seats what color they have used in their pipes of the engine because that is not a necessary information for you so abstraction will only tell you that person will only tell you the basic and important information about that car not the unwanted one or which is not necessary or even though you watch which is not being asked by the user itself so many examples are there this is another example sending sms where you type the text and send the message you hardly matters what is the protocol being used out uh, behind the picture you don't know the internal processing about the message delivery you just need to know to whom we need to send who is sending and what would be the message that if you would like to access as i told you already you can use public as i have already kept my user class public to be accessible within this encapsulation and abstraction example let me hide this because it will always give me the error otherwise so this is how the encapsulation and abstraction can be achieved with the help of access modifiers i will see you in the next session to tell you exactly how the private members which are encapsulated can also be accessed from the outside of the class definition with the bare minimum functionalities and the features until next time stay tuned